Hello YouTube, I'm Pedro from the Wicked Cat team. Today I'm going to show you how to work with another type of water in Unity 5, the Water Pro. Now if you enjoy this video, remember to leave a like. And if you want more Unity 5 tutorials, remember to subscribe to our channel. For this video, we will use the same terrain we used it on the last video. As you can see, we still have the lake we created on the last video using the water basic. Today we are going to do exactly the same thing, but using the water pro instead of the water basic. Before Unity 5, water pro was only available in the pro Unity of, uh, in the pro version of Unity. However, now you can get it on the personal version as well. Now. Remember that I'm using the demo project of Unity 5. That means I already have all the water assets I need in my project. If you are using a new project, you go to Menu, Assets, Import Package and Import the Environment Package. After that, you'll have all the environment assets you need for this tutorial. Now, if you go to your project directory, here, you go to Assets, you have here the standard Assets folder. You go in, you select Environment, and now you have two water folders, Water Basic and Water, we want Water, so double click on this one. And now again we have two folders, Water and Water 4. Water 4 is another type of water that we are going to cover in the next video. So today we want Water Pro, so we select Water. Now you have several folders as well. And we double click on the prefabs. So as you can see, we have again two prefabs. We have Water Pro Daytime and Water Pro Nighttime. So just like with Water Basic, you use Water Pro Daytime for daytime scenes and use water pro nighttime for nighttime scenes or for places where it's kind of dark for example the interior of a cave um, so before we use water pro let's first delete our water basic daytime delete okay so now we still have the area where we want to create our lake so we have a daytime scene, so I'm going to use the water pro daytime. We drag the prefab to the scene. Okay, so now we have it here. Let's move it a little bit right here, for example. Let's change the scale so we cover the area we want with our lake. Z axis too much. I think we can get it a little bit higher. For example, no, this was already too much. Okay, here. And now we need just to place it a little bit. Okay, let me just check this area here. Yeah, perfect. Just perfect. Okay, so basically now we have the daytime pro water in our scene. Now, if we select it and we go to the inspector, we can see it has several components. We have the transform component, we have a water plane mesh, a mesh renderer, and a water script, and a water pro daytime shader. Now on Mesh Renderer you can uh, set some options like Casting Shadows or Receive Shadows. Let's change this for Cast Shadows. Let's set this to On. And it will receive shadows. Actually let's change this to Off and set Receive Shadows On. Here you can set the material for the water. You can set the use 
of light probes. On reflection probes, we will change it to off, blend probes, blend probes with skybox and simple, we are going to change it to blend probes and skybox. Alright, so next we move on to the water script and if you remember from the water basic you couldn't change any details regarding the water. Now here we have several parameters that we can change. So you can set the water to several modes, you can set it to simple, to reflective or refractive. Uh, so if you set if you set it to, to simple, this will make the water look like water basic. Okay, so if we change this for example, this will make the water look like water basic. If we change this for reflective, will make the water have reflection but no refraction or refractive it will allow reflection and refraction that is what we actually want next you can disable pixel lights this basically um, will reduce the quantity of lighting in the reflection and refraction um, this will allow you to gain some performance in your game so let's just leave this on you can set the texture side this value refers to the resolution of the generator water texture the clip plane offset is the distance below the water that uh, the reflected or reflected image appears so let's leave this just like it is next we have the reflect layers and the refract layers so here you can change the, the layer max, masks that con control the objects in the scene that are visible in the water. So as you can see here, by default all layers are active, You're going, we're going to leave them just like this. And finally here on the shader, you can set several parameters like the wave scale, the reflection distorts, the refraction distorts, you can also set the, the, the refraction color, basically this is the color that is going to be applied to all objects underwater, so for example, let's give him a little bit bluish, okay, Sounds, seems good to me. We have the frismal map and the normal map, and now here, just like on the basic water you can change the wave speed and change the simple water color horizon but since we are not using the simple call simple water so that's fine so yeah basically this is how you actually set water pro so let's click on play and see the final result So yeah, basically, as if you remember the, if you compare the two types of water, water basic and water pro, you'll see that you get a much more realistic look of water in in water with water pro. So unless you are restricted by by the the device where you want your game to get your game to run, so it's for example if it's um, uh, a device with very with little with uh, not very strong for rendering for example uh, I would recommend you to use water simple but otherwise you get much better effects using the water pro as you can see here because it's a uh, it's much much more realistic so okay guys here you have it this is the tutorial on water pro as you can see it's very simple to use just like water basic you just have a few more parameters that you can use to get the more realistic water so on the following video we are going to to show you the last type of water you can use in unity water 4 so until then have a nice day